What's good everybody? Today we got another story time with the shoes, bro. And today I got some some different stuff. We got the Sacconi vibes, bro. Uh, and the reason why I decided to do this one is because I just did an unboxing on the new Sacconi. They just did a collab. So if you're interested in that video, go check those out because those are fire. But it just made me realize because I, I said that Sacconi is going to be the new wave after ASICs. And it's crazy because I bought a pair of Sacconis. I think this was back in 2018, 2019, one of those years, uh, whenever they had Complex Chicago. It was actually a really funny story. And I bought a pair of Sacconis. It's not this exact pair. It was a red pair, but I gave them to my brother and he began drunk and losing his shoes. I, I, I don't know. He, he, he in his own world, but you, you know I stopped giving him shoes though because of that. But... So yeah, I'm going to do these shoes and actually that pair of shoes led me to getting the shoes But I bought a pair of Sacconis back in 2018, 2019 Just to fit in, uh, just to feel something And it's crazy because it's now full circle because that's what people finna start doing now But if you watch my video, that doesn't include you because I put y'all on So without further ado, let's get into the video man So this is around 2018, 2019 Complex Con was coming to Chicago and I'm originally from Chicago and there's been so many years that I wanted to go back in the day, but I was still in high school. Uh, and every time Complex Con was going on, it was usually like in the midst of school. And there was one year I even asked my mom, can I skip homecoming to go to Complex Con? And she was like, no, that's the dumbest thing. She didn't believe in the vision, bro. But I'm actually low-key glad that, I don't know. I had a good night with the guys that night. But I don't know if it was bit better than going to Complex Con. But I cherish my friends, so shout out to them, shout out to my mom. Uh, but the one year that I did get to go, I got to go and uh, I knew that there was going to be a crazy release at ComplexCon because back in the day, ComplexCon used to be like crazy, like super exclusive stuff. They still do it to where like, there's only like, ComplexCon exclusive stuff, but usually they have a wider release nowadays. Back then, no, you had to be at ComplexCon. So, and this was also back in the day was Twitter was popping and I had like sneaker groups. So it was really a flex. You got to meet all the people online. I was like that would help me throughout my journey and you know I either got to see them or meet them but it was a huge flex if you were able to get these shoes or the you know, clothing that they had that was exclusive at complex con now mind you I'm in high school don't got no bread and I really didn't know how I was gonna purchase these shoes even if I had access to them I, ha I was borrowing my mom's credit card but usually <laughs> it really didn't have no money on it because I like if I didn't sell that shoe instantly, you know what I mean? Like, I really had no bread. So I was just hoping that my dad was going to pay for it because he was the one who was going to take me since we was back in Chicago. Uh, and also, my dad is best friends with Don C. Um, if you don't know who Don C is, he's like a famous uh, designer. He actually has his own Jordan, one of the more popular Jordans. He has his own brand and he works for Louis Vuitton and the Chicago Bulls. So pretty, pretty known guy. And we got to, we basically had VIP access. So it was, it was a crazy event. I got to be with Don the whole time. I got to meet Ronnie 2K, um, F, F Ronnie 2K and F Mike Wayne. You know how it goes. I hate 2K25. Uh, I got to meet PJ Tucker for the first time. And I, there was, I got, I got, oh, NLE Choppa. Uh, what's, uh, what's her name? Aaliyah May. No, that's the singer. No. Whoever, the, the lady, I forgot her, her name, but the lady who makes the Jordans, she works with Jordan brand. She makes all the women exclusive Jordans. She's so fire. Her shoes are fire. She's super pretty in person. And I got to, I, I didn't get to meet her, but she like walked past me. I was like, yo, that's crazy. So I'm saying all this to say I had a wonderful time, but the main thing that I came there to get, I came to get, it was the Air Max Safari pack. They had a complex con exclusive Air Max release there. And when we got there, bro, it was like a line and they had VIP wristbands and stuff that get, basically gave you like a head start in the lines and stuff. But it was so chaotic. A lot of people cut the VIP stuff didn't matter. And when we got in and they like gave us entry, everybody just bomb rushed. The time they opened the doors, it didn't matter. Like they sectioned you off. Like, yeah, it was like the airlines where you have like VIPs in the front and then it went based by basically how much you paid. But once they opened the doors, bro. Everybody just bomb rushed. There was even a video back in the day 
because there was a one of the famous guys on well famous on sneaker community he was in a wheelchair at the time and you can just see him rolling <laughs> he was rolling to get them shoes bro and so by time because i was with my dad and i knew i didn't have enough money and i didn't have enough time to make a call to get some money in that time even if i were to make it so i didn't even rush and by the time i got to the line everything was sold out and i was super disappointed because i'm like dang i paid for a ticket and i'm essentially coming back with no profit bro and then you know, obviously I'm grateful because I got the VIP access with Don C and I got to see everything. I got to experience everything. It was wonderful, crazy, but I didn't have nothing to show for it. You dig what I'm saying? So I was like, I was just looking like a sad kid that just got pushed in the locker, bro. Like I'm moping around just trying to see like anything that I could buy. And they have like all these different vendors and booths with all the different brands. And so I'm just looking around and the first booth that I saw was Half Evil. I wasn't hip to Half Evil at the time, but they were doing, they do like deals nowadays where they do like $3.33 shirts because that's like a little brand gimmick or whatever. Uh, I was like, well, that's something I can afford. <laughs> I gave them $5. And it was it was a black shirt with green lettering that said Half Evil 333. I wore that shirt for the longest. I thought it was fire. And Half Evil is, is crazy now. But so I bought that shirt. And then there was another booth, bro. It was like a retro 90s gaming booth, bro. And they had like these purple and blue boxes, bro. But everything was like so retroed out. They had like this old school red couch. Uh, and they had like Nintendo 64. And they was playing, I forgot the game, but it's like the little shooting game where the dog is like shooting the duck or something. They had that. They had the other game where it's like a little pixel man on the motorbike and you're going up the, the sandy ramps and stuff. And I was like, dang, this is a vibe, man. And they honestly, they could see just the sheer disappointment in me. And they invited me over and they were like, hey, man, come check out our booth. And I was, and I told them, I said, bro, I, I, I don't got no money, man. I'm sorry. And they were like, no, nah, check it out. You seem like a cool kid. Like, we just want to show you this. So they showed me around the booth. It was a cool little vibe. And then I was like, well, what's in the box? And there was like, Coney. I've never heard Sakoni a day in my life. Like I said, I'm a Chicago kid. If it ain't a pair of mics, if it ain't a pair of Air Force, I really wasn't hip to it, for real, for real. And so they showed me, and I'm like, and they gave me the background knowledge of it. They were like, these are the grid webs, and I forgot what the details of it, but they sold me the product, bro. And I was like, well, how much is it? And I think it was like only like 140, 160. And I was like, wow. And I actually fell in love with the show. It's different. And I, and I was like, bro, I need to walk out with something, bro, so I could I could feel something, bro. And so they eventually convinced me to buy the shoe. I'm handing him the money. And there was another, I guess, reseller. And he sees me buying the shoe. And he's like, hey, bro, what are those? He's like, should I cop, bro? Those got a lot of money. And, like, I was like, no, man. It was like, it's not resale, but I actually really like the shoe. And I felt, I just felt like that was like such a movie, <laughs> Disney movie type of line that came out of my mouth. But it was the truth. <laughs> it was the truth, bro. I genuinely liked the shoe. I liked the vibe. I liked the atmosphere that the guys gave me. And it honestly it brightened my whole day since I wasn't able to cop the Air Maxes, bro. And I bought them and I FaceTimed my homie because he be on the Sacconis too. And I, well, we, we was on a wave. Like we were just trying to be like different at times and so i told him about it i bought him a pair and bro i i loved him it was a all it was like gray with an all red so but and, and the guy the guy that was like they reselling i was like nah he instantly walked off and the guy who sold me the shoe he's like the guy's missing out man it's not all about the money and though john's was fire and so later down the road obviously i was on the mailing list now and then i ended up buying these so i had the red pair and then i had these um and then later down the road i ended up meeting my brother and we would always do like trades because we were the same size and i ended up giving him those so we could not match but so we could just have the same shoe because there was no way that he was going to be able to get that these type of sacconis like, these are like throwback johns so and i bought these to like fit in not even fit in but just really like to feel something bro and that's a hey, that's what people finna do now when uh when these start to be the new trend so it's, it's crazy how it's gonna be like full circle but i bought mine back in 2018 so nobody could tell me i'm i'm hot like, look mine dirty mine dirty bro i i got these dirty i wear mine and 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 the thing i like about sacconis bro not even sacconis but just like this shoe in general i actually do need to i did not realize how dirty these were but that's actually crazy bro i need to take better care of my shoes but it's like 
like I said, I'm in like era of I'm in like you type shoes. And I will say this, bro. The low key, why do I have an almond in my in my shoe, bro? Um, I was getting freaky deaky in the Sakonis. <laughs> why well, I got an almond in my shoe, bro? But these are the type of shoes, bro, where honestly I get more compliments on these type of shoes where nobody really knows about them and they, a lot of people are actually like, dang, what are those? Those are fire compared to like hype shoes, bro. So that's that's like a wave that I've been on for a long time. And now that I'm like more mature, that's really what I focus on. So I would really love for Sakonis to come back and I'll show y'all, even if y'all didn't check out the unboxing video, these are the new ones that I'm talking about. So I've been on the wave and I, I, got, the, I got the old and I got the new, you dig what I'm saying? So. Tap in with the Sakoni boys. And I need I need to give a, a nickname to these, bro, because crazy thing is, right? And I I I don't know if I'm gonna make a video on it, but I have a separate pair of New Balances before, way before New Balance was even thought of being popular. Before I even thought it was gonna be popular. I bought them for $30. And I bought my brother a pair too, because we just I put them on game. And we called them the Magic Boys because it is a little inside joke, but we'd be like, Magic Boys! And that's what we called the shoes. And so we gave it its own nickname because it, like, it wasn't an act, like, I want to say an actual shoe, but it wasn't anything crazy. It was a $30 shoe that, that just kept on getting on discounted at my job to the point where we had to send them back. And so I want to give like Sakoni's like name, especially since we have not the same pair, but same pair, different colorway. I never was able to, to nickname these. So help, help me with a nickname, y'all. Well, obviously these already have a name, the J Tips, which is low key pause, but crazy. But I want to I want to nickname to these because he got the all the red, gray and red pair, and I got these. If he even still has them, like I said, he be getting drunk and losing his shoes. I I know what that means. But and this was a pretty pretty interesting story, bro. It's crazy how things come full circle. But I'm interested on the Sakoni wave. Uh, let me know how y'all feel about the Sakonis, bro. Uh, that's about it. So with that being said, man, I'll see y'all next video. Peace.